That's shallow faith. Because when they do, the enemy will attack them. Or they will say, we must not seriously serve the Lord so that the enemy will not attack us. Sabi ng kaway, it's okay lang yan. Ano kung di kong ng service sa Panginoon? Walang problema sa akin yan. Huwag kang mag-serious. May problema ka. Tayo rin ako tayo. Because our faith is shallow. Now, how did Nehemiah fight this discouragement? Paano po ginapanan ni Nehemiah itong discouragement na ito? Two things. Dalawang balay. Say two things. One is through prayer. Alam po yan, Pastor. Alam natin ito. But why are we, why are we sometimes discouraged? Because we really did not pray at all. In Nehemiah 4 verse 9, it says, But we pray to our God. But we pray to our God. Amen. Amen. May problema ako. Marami mga problema. I have the problem of rejection. I have the problem of persecution. I have the problem of mockery. I have the problem of shallow faith. I have the problem of all these things that we are undergoing. But we pray to our God. Amen. Malaking bagay po yung kapatid. But we pray to our God. That makes the difference. It was a very disturbing situation for Nehemiah and the people of God. But they were able to pray to God. Hallelujah. We have problems of all sorts. Sicknesses, financial needs, hard situations. But we pray to our God. That makes the difference. Yeah. We, have, we are discouraged, but we pray to our God. Hallelujah. That makes the difference, church. Yeah. Prayer, we always say that, quoting the quotation, whoever said that, prayer changes things. Amen. Amen. Our God is a prayer listening God. Amen. He listens prayers. Come on, church. Are, are we a church of God today? Amen. I said the Lord is a prayer listening God. Amen. Amen. He listens to our cry. What is your problem? What is your discouragement today? The Lord listens to your prayers. Amen. Amen. So, what is your problem? So, what is your problem? So, what is your We have the access to God. Amen. We can pray. We can pray. We have seen so many things being answered when we pray. Is that because we are good, good word? We know good words in prayer. No. Is that because we memorize a lot of prayers? It's because the God sees our hearts. The God sees your hearts. Okay, I know situations come in, but in one. You can pray to God. Amen. Amen. Ano po sinabi sa Jeremiah 33 verse 3? We memorize this verse. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Yes. As a pastor, I have so many things to pray for. I know that we are tayo. Sila pa nga tayo sa ating project eh. But can we be discouraged? We might be, we might feel discouraged, but we have to face it because we can pray. Amen. Amen. Sa ating mga ministry, sa ating mga trabaho, sa iyong pag-aaral, sa iyong mga business. But you can pray. Amen. Sometimes we forget that we can pray. Nakalimutan natin na yung prayer na yan ay napaka-importante pala because God wants us to pray because He wants us to be close 
to him. Amen. Perhaps he allows things to happen because he wants us to be close to him Amen. through prayer. That's why God answers prayers. Beforehand, in verses 4 and 6 of Nehemiah, Nehemiah prayed, Hear us, our God, for we are despised. Turn their insults back on their own heads. Give them over a splendor in a land of captivity. Do not cover up their guilt or blot out their sins from your, your sight. For they have thrown insults in the face of the builders. So when you are in need, church, brothers, you say the Lord, when you are in need, go to God. Amen. Amen. You can go to God at any time, in any place, in any situation. For with God, nothing is impossible. Amen. 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 So pray. Pray. We need to pray more. Our doctor says we need to pray more. Amen. The enemy does not want us to succeed. We have to pray. Please don't believe the enemy. Don't agree with his insults. Pray to God. And another way that Nehemiah fought discouragement was by prayer, of course, number one, the second one, the last one is by faith. Say faith. Faith. Say faith. Faith. Faith is important. Not faith to faith, but faith to God. Because nowadays, there are mga pagkuturo that they are teaching about faith, but actually what they are teaching is they are having faith in their own faith. They believe that they have great faith, so they believe that God will answer. God is, God is obliged to answer them because of their big faith. But this is what Nehemiah did. Ang sabi dito, then, in Nehemiah 4 verse 9, he said, Sabi niya sa verse, But we prayed to our God and posted a guard day and night to meet this threat. Saan ang pray dito? Saan ang pray dito? Pastor, hindi yan pray. Deposted a guard. Practical yan. Deposted a guard. They invite to meet this threat. Ang ginawa ni Nehemiah, nag-pray sila at nag-post siya ng marami ng mga, mga guardia day and night para sa threat na yan. Saan dyan ang pay? Now we have to we have to know that these were defeated people. They were captives. Even how much they were guard, it was a fact that the temple, the wall was in ruin, in rubbles. Kahit anong guardia ang kagawin mo dyan, kapati, kung wala kang wall, sayang yung guardia mo. But still, Nehemiah posted a guard day and night. Parang ano eh, parang useless na move to meet this threat. I would like to say, look at this as something that They did out of faith. What is their bow against the enemy? Sandala, the Arabs, and other other kingdom with them. They were only a small kingdom, the Israelites, very small. And 
defeated at that. They were in com they were comfort conquered. Everything was in ruin. Well as on security. But still he posted guards. It was an act of faith. Practical. Although it was impractical for some people, maybe because how could you do that? Anong naisip po ni Himaya? Bakit mo pagwardyahan niya? Wala nga tayong wall. Wala tayong wall. Wala tayong pader. Para ano yung wardyah mo dyan? Ang galing ng mga kalabada na ang dami-dami nila. And yet, ni Himaya din. Out of faith. It was an exercise of discipline. Amen? I remember Manny Pacquiao. Isa sa mga sekreto ni Pacquiao sa kanyang mga success sa boxing ay exercise and discipline. Pag mag-exercise na kahit pinahinto na siya, ayaw ka rin muminto. Kaya kahit parintang na siya, mag-ibay pa rin. Ayaw pa rin. Kasi may disiplina. You know what? Faith is an act of exercise and discipline. It is an action word. It is an active word. It's not passive. Faith is something that is not only being made a, a, a belief, made of one's mind. No. In fact, in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1, it says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. That's faith. Faith is not only faith to something or faith to our faith, but it's our faith to our great God. It is a faith that is derived from the Word of God. In, in Romans chapter 10, verse 17, it says, Faith comes from hearing and hearing by the Word of God. If our faith comes from other things, it's not faith at all. It might be positive thinking. Positive thinking is not faith. It's good to be positive. I'm not saying it's bad. But if you will say that positive thinking is faith, that's wrong. Because faith is different. Faith is something that's derived from the Word. Something that's developed. Something that's being led to us from God. Something that's being given by God to us. And it's the only thing that will make God happy. For without faith, we cannot please God. So God must have been pleased with what Nehemiah said. I will post guard because I know that God will help us. God is with us. Amen? We will do practical things in spite of Seemingly, these things might be impractical, but still we have to do it because we have to act the faith. Faith must be stepped by the person having faith. Hindi ba na faith? I am faith that I will not do anything. We have to do, to do something. Come on, church. When we are discouraged, we must apply faith and do something by our hands, by our mind. But our feet do something for God. Because that's how faith works. In 1 Thessalonians 1 3 it says, Remembering without ceasing your word of faith. Your word of faith. And labor of love. Is a word. The adjective for faith is work, and the adjective for love is labor. Work without faith is dead. James chapter 2 verse 20 says, And labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of God our Father. In James chapter 2 verse 18 it says, But someone will say, You have faith, I have works. Show me your faith without works, and I will show you my faith 
with my works. James said, same thing. That's why he said in verse 20 again, but with, but you will now obey man that without works, faith is death. So faith is action. We have to do something. Because we believe that if we will give something to God like that little bread and, and few fish, it was multiplied. Whenever God held it Amen. in His hands. Amen? Amen. The, the one step of Elijah made the water part. Just one single step. The one single step of Peter to the water made him to walk on water. It was his, it was his step. When we pray for the sick, it, does, it is not God who pray for the sick. It's you who pray for the sick. It is you who lay your hands on the sick. And they will recover. That's why the, the command says, Go and heal the sick. Go and heal the sick. You are the one to heal the sick. That's the order of the man of Jesus. Go and heal the sick. You have to do it. I have to do it. That's faith. It takes hard work. Which is a result of true faith. To be able to win the battle. It takes hard work. This is a result of faith that will enable us to fight discouragement. I hear Amen from the church. Amen. The first hard work as a result of faith that Nehemiah displayed was his awareness of the enemy's threat. In Nehemiah 4 verse 9 he said, He posted guard day and night to meet this threat in spite of them. The enemy, the enemy was huge. Still, he has to post guards because he believed that his guards cannot do anything without God. Precisely what God is doing to us. We know that we have been hampered. We know that we have been hindered. We know that we have been limited to the enemy. But we will not obey. We will not believe in the insult of the enemy. We will not believe in what God said because his word is true. Another hard work as a result of faith that the Nehemiah displayed was his appreciation of the sincere work of God's people even when it was still unfinished. He now appreciated both me, Nehemiah, and the people of the world who are not the cross. In verse 6, Nehemiah said, so we built the wall, built all of it, reached half its height. For the people who work with all their heart. With all their heart. The people who work with all their heart. That's faith in action. Church, God will only, will only honor what we do if we will do something by the faith. If you want to do something by faith, he will not be honored. You must do it. It's okay. When you have problems in life, when you are discouraged of maybe finances or problems in family or problems in business, in your job, in your school, whatever problem you are have, you're facing and you're so discouraged, do something by faith. Do something by faith. And God will honor that. Because he honors faith. He honors hard work done by faith. If you want to do something, you cannot do anything. Because God honors what we do out of our faith. Another hard work as a result of faith that Nehemiah displayed was his strategy of strengthening weak areas. Usan sila mahina, yun ang pinalatas ni Nehemiah. So verse 13, Therefore, I stationed some of the people behind the lowest points of the wall at the exposed places. Kung saan tayo mahina, yun ang ating palatasin. Kung saan tayo mahina, yun ang ating palatasin. Kung saan tayo mahina, yun ang ating palatasin. Kung 
may na ating business, doon na din pa nakasin. Doon may na ating pamilya, doon na din pa nakasin. Doon may na ang ating, ating pag-aaral, doon doon pa nakasin. It's by faith. That's by faith. Under the hard work, as a result of faith, that Nehemiah displayed was unity and cooperation. And if you know what it means, Nehemiah, he was posting them, the guards, by families, with their swords, spears, and bows. Ginamit niya mga pamilya, ginamit niya mga kapisels. Bawat pamilya, nanahit lang tayo mga anak, nagdala mga sot, may madala, madala mga itak. Lahat tayo, magkatrabaho. Lahat tayo, bata, matanda. Lahat sila po. Lahat sila. Say, lahat sila. Lahat sila ay gumagawa. It was faith. In unity. If I have small faith and you have small faith, all of us have small faith and we have big faith. Amen? If we do it together, we have such a big faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. In your problems in life, let other resources, let us, the, the, the stake takers, stakeholders, do something for your life. Siguro kukuha ng kapatid mo sa Panginoon, patulungin mo siya. Kukuha ka ng kaibigan mo ng believer, patulungin mo siya. It takes two to tango. It takes two. It takes two heads to have this time. Amen? And another word that's hard as a result of faith that he might display was his reminder to God's people about the Lord. He has to keep on reminding God's people. This morning, we are demanding in New Church that God is on our side. Amen. God is on your side. Kahit anong problema ka meron sa pamilya mo, sa negosyo mo, sa pag-aaral mo, sa trabaho mo, kahit anong problema, God is on your side. Amen. Jesus will never leave us to forsake us. His love is for eternity. Na kahit natulong tayo sa eterno, iniibig pa rin niya tayo. Never cease to love us. His love will never end. He will never leave us in presence. Yes, I think it's verse 14. After I looked this day, Nehemiah said, I stood up and said to the nobles, the officials, and the rest of the people, Don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of the enemy. Remember the Lord. Amen. Remember Jesus. Amen. Of, of course, we don't know Jesus at the time. But today we know Jesus, right? We are better off today. Because we know Jesus. Amen. See, like, we Jesus at the time. We were all hearing about prophecies about Jesus, about the Messiah, the Christ, the coming Christ. But we don't know Him. In fact, Many of them crucified Jesus when, when they came to the world because they don't know Jesus at all. Mas magi mas magalit pa tayo ngayon sa kaisang kumuna ng panahon. Mas magalit ka pa kay Moises. You know Jesus. You have accepted Jesus in your heart. He lives in you. Remember the Lord when you have problems. Don't be afraid of them. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome and fight for your families, Amen. your sons and your daughters, your wives and your homes. Then he said to the nobles in verse 19, the officials and the rest of the people, the work is extensive. Napakalaki ng trabaho and spread out. Napakalawa ang trabaho. And we are widely separated from each other along the wall. Sobrang, sobrang ang, ang, ang trabaho. Na katiskalis na eh. Pero sabi niya, wherever you hear the sound of the trumpet, join us there. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, join us there. Our God will fight for us. Amen. 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 God will fight for you in the discouragement. 
us in this world. And of course, last but not the least, another word or hard word as a result of faith that he might display was his continuous word until finish. In this moment, I not parang problema na naman talaga, di naman wala naman gumagawa. Sige lang! He never quitted. In verse 21, it says, So we continue to work. We continue the work. Ano ang trabaho nila? Trabaho ng Panginoon. In our case, if you are a believer, maybe you are facing with problems, faces some problems, and the devil wants you to be down, defeated, discouraged. Remember that your service to the Lord, your relationship with Him, is more important than anything else. Do not quit. Do not quit. Wag tang humito. Kaya ano ang nagsuray? We have to continue to serve Jesus. Because we know that the problem that we are facing, the discouragement that we are experiencing, is only a tool that God can use in order for us to be taught in relying upon Him every day. So we continue to work with half the men holding stairs from the, from the first light of dawn till the stars came out on our country. Church, are you discouraged? Maybe in the church. Brother, sister of the Lord, are you discouraged in your family? Are you discouraged in your job? Are you discouraged in your relationships? Are you discouraged in your business? Are you discouraged in the ministry that you're holding on today? Maybe in your yourself, I will tell you today, do not quit. Do not quit. Amen. Continue the work. Amen. Even when you feel like quitting, don't be discouraged. Why? Because God will fight for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second is time, please. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Wonderful is your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Wonderful.